The ability to design buckling restrained braced frames has been added to Risa 3D when you integrate your model from Risa Floor. The purpose of buckling restrained brace frames is such that the brace is used as a fuse to dissipate energy during a seismic event. The buckling restrained brace is composed of a steel core and a concrete case. These members are advantageous because the concrete case increases the buckling capacity of the steel core, enabling a more efficient and economical design. Now that we're here in Risa 3D, we can go ahead and start drawing the braces to make up our vertical brace system. So you can see we've already got a couple brace frames here resisting the force in the X direction as well as some moment frames in that Z direction. I've already got my vertical braces drawn in this model, but I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate how I might go about drawing these from scratch. So to do that, we'll just navigate to the Home tab and choose the Members icon. From here, we'll notice there's a shape and under the Shape Database. Let's go ahead and access that Shape Database. So I'm just going to choose the ellipses here so we can go into the shape database. Once we're here, what we'll want to do is choose the core brace option from the database drop down list. And then be sure to check the BRB shape type option. Here's where we'll see a comprehensive list of all the available core brace options. So I can go ahead and choose my brace type, select OK. I can see that I've actually got a few additional properties that have been generated as a result of selecting the BRB shape. So you can see we've got the maximum and minimum yield strength, we have the density, we've got the compression strength adjustment factor, the strain hardening adjustment factor, as well as that stiffness modification factor. And then you also have the option to specify a particular connection type. Notice that the buckling or strain brace automatically has pinned ends and that just goes uh, to be consistent with the analysis for vertical braces. Another important consideration for the design of our vertical brace system is that we'll need to assign some seismic design rules to our vertical braces. So I'm going ahead and I'm just selecting all the beams, columns, and vertical brace elements of my frame. From my drop down menu over here, I'm going to choose all of those hot rolled steel members. And the critical component here that we want to look at is the seismic design rule. So we want to make sure all the elements of our frames are assigned the BRBF design rule. So you can choose that from this drop down list here. If you don't see BRBF, you could choose the ellipses right here adjacent to that. And you could choose to create a new seismic design rule, or we could choose to edit the existing one. What I'm going to go ahead and do is actually pop into our seismic design rule spreadsheet here so that way we can see that comprehensive list of all of our seismic design rules. We can see the BRBF option here down at the bottom. The important point here is the frame type designation. So you want to be sure to have the BRBF frame type designation. That's going to come into play when we run our capacity limited analysis for the frame type. With the implementation of buckling restrained braces, we incorporated the ability to analyze your brace frames according to the capacity limited design. So, in able to do that, we'll need to generate some capacity limited load combinations. So I'll go ahead and navigate over here to my load combination spreadsheet. Here you can see I've already got some load combinations generated. You'll notice uh, the basic load case with the subscript of CL. Those are going to be my capacity limited load combinations. So I can create these and I can generate these by accessing our load combination generator. I'll go ahead and select load combination generator there. And you'll notice here on the seismic tab, there's the capacity limited LC options for brace frames. So you could choose to have the program automatically generate these here or Similar to other basic load cases, you could just type in the category as well. Alternatively, you can choose the ellipses for that basic load case. And then you could choose the load category from our drop down menu here. And then just be sure to check that box for the capacity limited option to go ahead and include that in your design. All right, so let's go ahead and solve a batch and envelope solution here. So that we can take a look at what the results are going to look like for our braced frames. So in the capacity limited design, essentially how that works is the vertical brace elements, or in this case, our buckling restrained braces are going to be designed for the forces due to those regular 
uh, seismic load combinations, those general ELF seismic load combinations, where our columns and our beams are actually going to be designed for the capacity of the brace. So one way we can actually view that is if I choose to toggle on the display of my loads here, and I'm going to choose load combination from the type. I'm going to scroll down here in this list and we'll actually see here from this drop down menu we've got the full tension and full compression of our brace element. And I can zoom in and here in red we can actually see the magnitude and direction of the brace capacity and that is due to the equivalent lateral force capacity limited in that x direction. So if we looked at load combination 6 it's going to be that ELX CL combination and then we've got both one brace and compression and then another brace here in tension. So those are the capacities of our braces which are going to be applied to our beams and columns. So that's one way you can quickly visualize that. Another way we could see if I wanted to choose to view the detail report here for let's say one of my braces. What I can actually do here is I'm going to scroll down and choose to open up the seismic detailing results here and I'll keep scrolling. What we can actually see is we've got the adjusted brace strength, so we actually see the tension and compression force of the actual brace, and that should correlate to the forces here that we actually see on the screen. So as you can see, the capacity of our brace and compression is 103, which is consistent with what we see on the compression brace here in this, in this 3D view. And then similarly, the tension force at 93.84, 93.84. So this is a nice summary for the actual capacity of the brace, we can come through. We've got a few additional information to look at. We've got uh, the tension, the actual required tension and compression axial strength. We've got the unbalanced force on the beam. So that is also a new feature with the implementation of the capacity limited design is the ability to look at that unbalanced force on the beam due to V and inverted V vertical braces. So that's a nice summary of the results that you have there. And then we can also take a look at, let's say, the code check spreadsheet. I'll go ahead and hop on in here. There is going to be a new tab here called BRB, and this is where it will contain our results for our buckling restrained braces. So looks like we've got a few failures here. Maybe we need to upsize our braces. But this is a summary here of our design for our braces. So that is how you design buckling restrained braced frames in RISA 3D. For more information on this topic or the capacity limited design, please visit our website at risa.com.